Welcome in, folks. Caleb Tallman, Team F Line Sports. I'm joined with Bishop McGinnis, uh, head coach, Brian Robinson, longtime head coach. Uh, appreciate you taking some time joining us today, coach. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So you guys uh, obviously on a good run right now. Um, we, obviously, to make it this far, you had to win three playoff games. You beat some good teams along the way, uh, having having taken down Greystone Day, Rosman, and North Rowan. Uh, and now you're going to have to hit the road uh, and come all the way out to uh, the furthest western county in all of North Carolina. So it's going to be a long road trip for y'all. Uh, and, and I think it's kind of a, an interesting matchup. Usually people are used to saying, oh, we're going to the defending state champs, Bishop McGinnis. But now it's, it's a little bit different. You guys are coming to the defending state champs. Uh, the Murphy Lady Bulldogs. Just tell us what you know about Murphy initially uh, and, and what you expect out of the game. Well, sure. It's it's funny because doing this for so long, um, <clears throat> you would think we had played Murphy somewhere along the line, and we've never played him in the playoffs ever. <clears throat> this will be the first time we played him since I've been here, and we've just missed him. Either we got beat before we were supposed to play them or vice versa. And um, um, two years ago, you know, we both made it to the regional finals, and we got beat, and they won, but then COVID hit. <laughs> And yeah. so it's 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 and then last year we got beat by, beat by Mitchell by one point at the buzzer. So we didn't get to play him in that regional final. But um, I know Murphy's a strong team. They're they're very good. Um, I know um, Torn Rogers is a very good player, and they have a lot of good pieces around them that are very very good. And when you're playing a team that's won you know back to back state titles, I know it's um, something that you don't want to let go of, and um, it's going to be a challenge for us to go up there and try to win that basketball game because they're very good. Yeah, y'all, y'all know that feeling well when you've won a couple back to back, and you and you want to keep that run going. Uh, just, just tell me how you think your team's playing right now. Obviously, you've won three games in a row in the playoffs to get here, and I mean, especially in the last two rounds, you you, you played a really good Rosman team, a really good North Rowan team. Uh, I mean, not no disrespect to them, but you kind of handled them. I mean, double digit victories in the playoffs, especially once you get to that second, third round, uh, those don't come easily. No, and. You know, you hope to be playing your best basketball at this time of the season. I mean, obviously, every coach hopes for that. And, um, you know, we played well the last couple games, obviously. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect coming into the playoffs because um, we haven't really put things together, you know, before we got to the playoffs because we played so many kids during our conference season um, because of the margin of victory. And then in our non-conference games where we scheduled up, um, you know, some teams handled us pretty bad. I mean, we got we – got, beat pretty bad in some of those games. And so um, I think, you know, I think we're playing well. Um, it's, you know, we have no seniors and, um, you know, getting into that atmosphere tomorrow night, we'll see how we handled it. But um, I think up to this point, we're playing pretty well. I got gotcha. you. Uh, and, and one thing I like to do, Coach, um, just since I've never interviewed you before and you guys, uh, and I always ask us whether it's private or charter, tell us just a little bit quickly about Bishop McGinnis, how you guys, um, go about getting your students uh, and how you go about uh, being able to get your athletes on the team and such, uh, obviously working a little bit different from like a traditional public school like Murphy. Sure. Well, we have um, five feeder schools, Catholic feeder schools, um, Our Lady of Mercy, St. Leo's, Blessed Sacrament, um, Our Lady of Grace, and St. Pius. And those five schools feed into our um, uh, into Bishop McGinnis into, into our high school. Um, when I got the job in 2002, um, that was one of my first, uh, I guess, goals was to get those kids, those kids excited about playing basketball. And so um, <clears throat> my focus has been on those girls in our feeder system. And um, it's worked really well. Uh, I would say I think the majority of our kids, 90, at least 92 or 93 percent, it's on our website, but um, at least 92 or 93 percent of our kids come from our Catholic feeder school system. And um it's been great for our Catholic community um, because, you know, they watch the kids grow up when they're, you know, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, and they just feed off their, their rivals when they're in middle school yeah. and they really battle each other. And then they get the high school and their friends. And so um, it's, it's really, really interesting to watch that. And I think um, if I get this right, I think of the 13 girls we have on the team this year, um, 11 came out of that Catholic feeder school system. I got you. Well, uh, Back to basketball a little bit, it, just from looking at y'all stats that are available on Max Preps, uh, y'all are led, which uh, is rare for any team. You're led by a freshman in scoring. Uh, tell me if I get her name wrong. Adelaide Jernigan, it looks like she's averaging about 18 a game. Uh, and then the two Chapel girls, is there a, a relation there, I'm guessing, are, are both right Which at nine wins. a game. Which but wins. just, just kind of highlight some of your key players 
and, and your players that are playing well right now? Well, Adelaide is playing well right now. Um, <clears throat> she's, um, you know, fresh, typical freshman. She'll do eighth grade things one time and then she'll do, you know, uh, freshman things sometimes. And, um, but she's played well, well during the playoffs. Um, the two chapel girls, um, they started up, started for us when they were freshmen two years ago and they helped us get to that Eastern regional final, which we got beat in at the buzzer. And then, um, uh, Kirsten Barner and Grace Harriman, some of our other girls that are, um, you know, maybe four or five on the line, whatever, however you want to call them. They, they've picked it up well in the playoffs. And it's funny because, um, <clears throat> I've only I've never had this many left-handed girls on one team. We have, we we start four left-handed girls, and um, that's a that's a rarity to have one, and we have four starting. So, I got you. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll ask you one last question, and I not take up too much more of your time. Um, but obviously, a long trip. Uh, but I know you know experienced head coach you're used to. I'm sure you got a plan coming out. But what's what's one thing uh, your team needs to do well uh, on mm-hmm. Tuesday night to have a chance to win a road game in the playoffs? Well, I think it's, you know, controlling your emotions. You know, when you go into um, different gyms, especially late in the playoffs, um, you have to control your emotions. And um, if you if you get too high, too early, or too low, too early, depending on what how the game starts, you you could lose the game in the, you know, the first three or four minutes. And, um, you know, it's about – it's really just a matter of just – keeping your composure. And if things go bad, just stay even killed. And if they go well, stay even killed because things can flip really fast. So hopefully we can do that um, Tuesday night because I'm sure it's going to be a roller coaster in there. Absolutely. Well, hey, Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, we wish you safe travels, best of luck. Uh, and for any of the Bishop McGinnis fans watching this, we'll make sure to get the links out to y'all. But uh, you can always watch uh, our games for free uh, all the way throughout the playoffs of Murphy Girls Basketball live on FYNTV.com. So if you can't make the long trip, we understand, but uh, you still got a chance to watch uh, your girls play. So wish you all the best of luck, Coach. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it.